Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Saturday today and I'm back from Barbados. It's really sad to be back because it was such a beautiful place. It was our second time being there and I kind of wanted to just tell you our experience if you guys are interested in going to Sandals Barbados. So we did stay at a Sandals and I booked it through Sandals website. Um, we got a pretty good deal on it, but it is gonna be expensive because it is all inclusive. So it includes all the meals, all the alcohol, our our bar in the room was stocked daily and we definitely got our money's worth so pretty much actually everything was included so it was just a beautiful time and we ate so much food I gained five pounds from being on this vacation and I'm surprised I didn't gain more because last time we went on vacation we went to Exuma Bahamas and I gained seven pounds but I did gain five pounds um, all of the food was delicious. It was the best sushi I've ever had. Um, a really good breakfast, really good pasta, ice cream we had like every single day. It was just incredible food. Like, ooh, I think you should go just for the food. I also drank every day, but we didn't go overboard. We never got like drunk or anything, but we started drinking at 10.30 in the morning. So there's that. But it was a really nice time. The flight wasn't too bad. I am someone who has anxiety on flights. And I actually took some CBD oil before we went on. Um, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in this vlog. Because I have a really good CBD oil recommendation for you guys. So I'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, that really helped calm me and relax me. It's good for anxiety and stress. So we took that before the plane ride. And I was really like at ease. Everything was good. And I didn't feel motion sick either because I took Dremamine as well. So flight wasn't bad. The staff at Sandals Barbados was, was really, really nice. Everyone was very helpful, sweet. Everyone greeted you. It was just a really good experience. And the clip that you guys saw of me with the monkey, I was not scared of the monkey. I actually loved the monkey. And I felt bad for the monkey that it was like tied up and like its job was basically to just go on people's shoulders. I felt really bad. Um, but the monkey, when it first went on my shoulder, it took my earring and it ripped it as hard as it could. And I thought it sliced through my skin. So the whole time I was like this because I was so worried that she was going to rip my earring out. So I probably shouldn't have worn earrings, but I wasn't expecting to see her then. But, um, yeah, the overall trip was really, really nice. And now I am back and I just feel like I had so much time to reflect and relax and think about things and think about what I want to do with my life and I definitely want to travel uh, as soon as Scott and I came back we started looking at trips to Bali, Grenada and Jamaica so we're deciding on where we want to go next and you know everyone was really pushing for a proposal in Barbados but I'm glad it didn't happen because so many people were like pushing and pushing and when it when it happens, it happens, you know? I don't wanna push someone to propose to me and maybe it's just not the right time and I'm okay with that. I don't need to be married right now. Thinking of a wedding, weddings are so expensive and the wedding that I would want is like so extravagant and so pricey that I don't wanna think about that. Like that stresses me out. So it's fine that we're not engaged. It's fine that we're not getting married right now. When it happens, it happens. Right now, we're like more interested in traveling and seeing more parts of the world because I really feel like we're not on this world to just see one part of it. Like if you live in Utah or Colorado or Massachusetts or Maine and you've only seen that place, I feel like you should explore and see other places of the world. I just feel like we're not supposed to be in one spot, you know? So that's what I wanna do. And my dad had the same mentality when he was younger. He just wanted to travel and see the world, and he did. He like traveled across the United States. He went to Egypt, he went to all these places. He went to Jamaica, my mom took him to Jamaica when they were in their, well, my, when my mom was in her 20s. They're 13 years apart. Anyways, so I just wanna travel and see the world. I look really tired right now. And I also got a haircut, chopped it off because I just wanted like a new beginning. So that's my little spiel on traveling. That's what we want to do. We just want to see the world. Oh, also as I came back, as you guys know, I work at Sephora and I'm a manager at Sephora and I'm not going to get into the juicy details because I find, I feel like it's not my place right now to 
give you guys the juicy details, but maybe in the future I will, maybe. But I was the store manager of Sephora for the holiday season. It was almost going on four and a half, five months. Um, but then something happened and I was the assistant manager. I got dropped down to the assistant manager and I just felt like I needed something new. So with that being said, I got a new job at a spa. I still am working at Sephora. I'm gonna be working part-time at Sephora, but I am going to be working at a spa as well, just as the front desk like receptionist. Um, I won't be performing any of the facials or anything like that, um, but I will be the person that greets you when you come in. So I am really excited to do something new and yeah. So that's what I have to say about that. A lot of like life updates. So I'll be starting that job very soon, cutting back from Sephora. I just need a fresh start, you know? I just need something new. And I think this will be really good for me, like anxiety wise. I think it's gonna be like a breath of fresh air, starting something new. So that's, I wrote down notes. So that's what's going on with that. And then last I am, we're gonna be moving within the next month. So I'm actually gonna go over to the barn today and start moving some things. And I'm really excited to do that. It's almost done, all it needs is appliances and then the countertop is being installed today. So we're gonna be moving over the, last, for over the next couple of weeks. So I will take you guys with me and do some moving vlogs together because I thought that would be fun. There's so much to move. like. I'm not a messy person, but I have a lot of stuff. So I think I might declutter some of my some of my makeup. I'm going to um, do some more donations with my clothes and just get everything together. So I will take you guys with me, but I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on in my life. And yeah, I'm traveling. I don't know where we should go next. I really don't, but I kind of want to go to Bali because it's so affordable. The flight is 24 hours, so that kind of sucks. But other than that, I just want to like travel, see the world, start new, have a new job, and vlog more for you guys. I want to do YouTube more. I want to get my Instagram going. And yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to take you guys with me to the barn and bring a few things over and show you the updates. And also show you guys that CBD oil that I've been loving. Like, it's a lifesaver. So, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, so I wanted to share what Scott and I have been taking over the last couple of weeks. If you are someone who deals with anxiety and stress, and I feel like that's pretty much every single person, but I think you would really like this. So, this is CBD oil, and you cannot get high from this. It's just you get the effects of, like, feeling relaxed and at ease. So, this is from a company called Blum, and I will link them down below. But they sent me three different products that they have. The first one is the Blum CBD Tranquil Mint Broad Spectrum Oil. It has 500 milligrams, and this is good to take like every single day, maybe before work. Um, it really relaxes you, it puts you at ease. This is also good for like depression, heart diseases, anything like that. It's going to help treat and kind of calm you down. So, we've been taking this before we go to work, and it really does help. It doesn't have a super strong minty taste, but you're supposed to put this underneath your tongue for like a minute or two and then swish it around and then swallow it and it does help it's just like it leaves you so calm so we've been taking this one this one's a bit stronger this one is the blum full spectrum cbd oil in the flavor lemon ginger and this has 1500 milligrams so it is a bit stronger and as you can see we've been using this one a lot this is the one we took before the plane ride and it helped so much so this is what it looks like. The flavor is actually really nice. It's very subtle, but it is like a lemony ginger, like light flavor. So it says high potency, ultra pure, and 100% organic. So highly recommend this one. This one's a bit pricier, but the stronger it is, the pricier it is, and it does really work. So we have those two. And then the one that I haven't been using, I haven't actually tried this yet, but I am excited to. This is the Blum CBD Topical Balm. So it has 500 milligrams in it. And this is supposed to be good if you have any aches or pains and you put it directly like on that spot. So it's supposed to help like relieve the pain. Um, I have not tried this, but it smells really good. It kind of smells like a spa. So I'm excited to try this. I kind of want to try it on my rash. I don't know if that would work at all. Um, I'm not in pain or anything, but Scott is in pain. So maybe we can try this 
on his back or shoulders. He does get like back aches sometimes. So I got all of these from Blum and like I said, we've been doing these two almost every single day. I haven't taken this yet today, but I think I'm gonna take this one just because I'm going into work and I think this really calms me for my work day. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. If you haven't tried CBD oil, it does really work and it does not make you high. Hi guys, it is Easter, happy Easter. And I wanted to show you guys the barn because we are so close to moving in. Probably within the next three to four weeks, we will be completely moved in. There's just some final touches and last minute like details to be put in, like the appliances, we need those stairs and just a couple like last minute things. So I wanted to show you an update because I haven't showed you and a lot of progress has been made. So I'm currently like in the kitchen living room area, but I'll show you like from walking in and show you guys a little mini tour. So this is the area when you first walk in, it's like right before the door. So we're just gonna hang our coats there. My mom's gonna build a shelf and then we're gonna have like our shoes out here. And then you come in and this countertop was just installed yesterday. So we have a countertop in the kitchen. The kitchen's very tiny, but that's okay. Um, the fridge is gonna go over here and this is gonna be like a sliding little pantry type thing. It is a tiny space, but it's still bigger than our apartment right now. And this is the kitchen. I still don't know what to do with like the little trinkets or what I'm going to display on the shelves, but I got this in Barbados and I'm obsessed with it. It's a little house. How freaking cute is this? I love this. So I'm definitely gonna keep this probably on here or on that ladder right there. And I just put this here, but I'm probably not keeping this here. I don't like the way it looks, but um, I just brought over some flowers and pineapple crumb cake, which smells delicious from Bath and Body Works. And then this painting, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but we got this in Barbados too. And I love it so much. So we got this in Barbados. We're gonna frame it and put it somewhere. Definitely not in the kitchen, but somewhere it's gonna go. So this is the kitchen. I'm just gonna back up to show you guys a little bit. There's a Lazy Susan right there. And then this is the living room over here. So we're gonna put our couch. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do about our TV because it is big. So I don't know where we're gonna like put it. But this is what the whole living room looks like. And we're thinking about putting our Christmas tree. I love Christmas. So I keep my Christmas tree up for like six months. So probably that corner is gonna go, um, gonna be where our Christmas tree goes. But this is the living room and we have two skylights. And then I showed you guys this bathroom before. We also have lanterns everywhere, which is nice and a lot of natural lighting, but this door slides. I put a picture of Scott and I right there, but I'll probably change it. I think I'm gonna put the powder room sign. But this is the bathroom. The shower is kind of like a spaceship. It's very tiny and it's, it's like a spaceship, but that's all right. Um, moving back this way, we've got the lanterns and my parents like had this wooden board in their basement and they just like sanded it and glazed it. So it's gonna be like our shelf and that's gonna be our view. Love these lanterns. And then over here, Teddy has his own corner. So I just put my purse there, but it's gonna be like Teddy's little corner with his toys. We're gonna to put Scott's desk here. We're gonna get an, him a new one. Another lantern. And then our bedroom, which looks like this. I already started putting some of my clothes, but they do hang on the ground. Um, but we have these like curtains, which I really like. They're like wicker. Really love that. My makeup table is gonna go there. The bed, we have a new headboard. And then I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna put our rug in here and get a new rug for the living room. So yeah, this is how it's looking. It's so close to being finished and I'm really liking it so far. So it's looking good. Just some final details. We're gonna have a really tiny stove. So the stove's gonna go right here. It's gonna be super, super small. And we're gonna get a um, microwave and a fridge. And the appliances are gonna be white. I tried to get silver or um, stainless steel, but my mom wanted white. So. It's her space, kind of. She's building it so she can do whatever she wants. But this is how it's looking. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. In like three to four weeks, I'm going to vlog us like completely moving in and bringing everything over. I just moved a couple things right now, but we have a lot to bring. So I will vlog the process for you guys. But yeah, this is our little barn apartment. We just got back. We did some grocery shopping. Not many stores are open 
on Easter, but I ended up getting grapes, mixed grapes, because I love me some grapes. So I got grapes, cinnamon applesauce, we've got toilet paper, bananas, we got green apples, because Scott, Scott loves green apples, and I like the red ones, so we got those. I still need to unpack. We have a big luggage there. Our suitcases are over there. We need to unpack. And then we also got pizza and ice cream because yeah, we're gonna try and kick it back into gear soon. But for right now, we're like craving just pizza and ice cream and like all things bad and chocolatey and delicious. Did you weigh yourself? Yeah. Was it bad? No. What did you, are you back to your vacation weight? To my vacation weight? Yeah, before vacation. Like before I started losing weight? Before we went on vacation, your weight, is it the same? <laughs> no, I'm heavier. Oh, but it's not bad? It's lighter than when I started dieting. That's good. I'm well, good. Mine's probably not good. But it's... Seven pounds heavier than when I went up. We started, went on vacation. Really? Mm -hmm. Mine probably is back to 140. I'm scared to look. I don't want to. I'd rather just not. Um, but we are gonna kick it into gear soon, maybe just after we eat today's pizza and ice cream. Cause you know, sometimes you just crave a good pizza and ice cream and chocolate and deliciousness. So I'm gonna end this vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed my little updates and I will talk to you guys in next week's vlog.